Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. Just wanted to say a massive thank you to everyone who's uh, liked the videos, subscribed to the channel so far. It really does help grow uh, the channel and move it forwards. Uh, if you haven't yet, if you can consider doing so, that would really be appreciated. Um, but uh, right, let's get on with this. So this week's video is around TVs. Um, I thought I'd just uh, have a bit of a discussion on this uh, and just let you know my thoughts and, and where we went with this. Um, certainly when we go away, this is the last thing I'm really thinking about. I'm not thinking about what is on TV and what I'm going to miss. It is about getting away and enjoying yourselves. However, a TV does have its moments where it plays a critical role, certainly in our family. Um, yeah. It, you're going to have those rainy days you're going to have those days where you're just not feeling it and, and you are going to be sort of confined with a caravan um, there's lots of things that go on here you could have sick children again that just want to watch something so yeah certainly not something that i would be aiming to switch on every time we go away but yeah plays a part so when considering TVs, uh, yeah, this is you. You are going to need to think about this uh, in a different mindset than usual when you're at home thinking about TVs. As soon as you're at home, you've got all this going on, and you've got tape measures out, and you're looking at sort of the the biggest TV you can find with all the latest features, bells and whistles. When it comes to caravanning, you're going to need to think about it slightly differently. You're going to need to think about whether it's going to be standing actually on something, whether it's going to be wall mounted. Um, and with that, you, you're going to need to think about the, the size of that. You might want to actually cut something out in cardboard and replicate what that looks like in terms of the screen size. Um, and also you, you want to be looking at the dimensions actually of the TV. You've got to consider the, the screen size, the bezel, um, and making sure that when you are reading those measurements that does take into consideration that size um, and certainly on an arm if you're going to think about that side of things again you want to be pulling that right round or into the angles where you're expecting to see it what you don't want to have is some 50 inch tv that's taking up the majority of your caravan that you are only going to hopefully use on a, uh, a less frequent basis and um, so yeah lots to think about when you're thinking around the features you want the TV to have, um, again, often you're thinking about smart TVs, um, but again, that's not probably the best option with caravan TVs. Um, the, the issue you've got here, and something that I was reading recently, um, manufacturers only sort of have their, their updates available for TVs for, if you're lucky, up to two years, and that's if you're lucky. Um, so again, you're paying a real premium for a TV with the services built in at that given time. Normally within six months, you'll start seeing that those updates become very few and frequent. Um, and then your TV slowly starts sort of not being able to uh, host the, the latest apps because they're either they're not compatible or they're really slow. Um, so my recommendation when you're looking at the TVs is the, the concentration actually on the, the quality of the screen and the, the size that you need more than anything else. If you're looking for the smart feature, then I would be sort of recommending an Amazon Fire Stick. And again, you don't really need to go and buy a separate one of these if you've already got one. You can load this up, use it in the house as normal, just remember it on your checklist of an item to bring away with you and then just plug it in as you go. That way, it's always up to date. It, it's going to be maintained as Amazon do, very good at their support. Um, and if you haven't got one, look for the Black Friday deals. And again, you can pick these up really cheap. Um, they do a different uh, number of these. Uh, they do the, 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 the basic one, they do a 4K one, they do them sort of in cubes. Again, different formats. I would just recommend is just the basic Fire Stick because for the size of the TV, realistically, what you're going to have in the van, you're only going to need a basic one. Unless, like you say, you are going to have a dedicated one um, at home and then you may want to pay the extra and get the 4K. Again, it, it has no difference. It will downscale onto any size TV, so you haven't got to worry on that front. Um, but yeah, probably a, a, a much cheaper option than trying to look for the support within the TV off uh, straight off the go and find actually within, like say, six months to a year, 
it's no longer sort of receiving the updates or working as when you first purchased it. So my recommendation, a basic TV, a good screen panel, Amazon Fire Stick, that will get you to where you need to be in terms of the setup. So one item you might want to think about, uh, and we touched on it last week um, around the, the solar setup, is a 12 volt TV. Um, this has that built in. Um, it's something that I power the TV um, all the time. It, it's a, it has a, a cigarette lighter and a, an aerial socket behind the TV, so it's perfect for us. Um, it draws very little power to be able to use that, and running off the 12 volt doesn't give you any less functionality of the TV. Um, so again, it's a win-win. You haven't used up a plug socket uh, to power the TV. Um, but yeah, it gives you the best of both worlds. You can use it for off-grid or on-grid. Um, so yeah, definitely worth a, a, a thought when you're choosing what model that you're looking for. So the screen we went for was a Philips 24 inch screen. It's a HD panel. It's a 55 series. Um, and again, it's it hasn't got the smart functionality. That's that's a, a choice that we made. As I said, we, we're using Amazon Fire Stick for that, that side of things. Um, and again, just something to think about when you're looking at your TVs. But certainly by taking the smart functionality out of the equation and, and saving that money and putting that towards a, a, a separate device, you, you're, you're certainly going to be saving in that space. Uh, like I said, an Amazon Fire Stick, you can pick up for like 20 quid, cheaper than that if you are, are looking at their deals at the time. Um, and again, you, you'll find that the screens themselves come down in cost as well where you're just looking for a basic TV but with all the functionality that you're looking for the ports the the 12 volt functionality that kind of thing so yeah just just try and change that mindset from yeah your, your, your requirements for a home TV and think about what your requirements are for a caravan TV or a motorhome TV So hopefully this video has been useful just to sort of think about the options and available to you in terms of TVs in the caravan. Um, if you've got any questions below, then yeah, pop them into the comments and uh, I'll come back to you. Uh, and again, thanks for everybody and all the support for the channel and I will see you on the next one.